All right, five minutes after nine o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. A little bit overcast today, and Jim George is here. Our Professor Gadget, Jim, is the owner of American Cable Services. And one of the things that we began our relationship with Jim talking about is going to be really focused on today. We, we went from talking about cable and TV specifically to all kinds of gadgets. But today, Jim has a special guest in the studio. Simon Bergant is in the studio from Neveron. And they're going to talk about IPTV. And so we're back kind of where we started from, Jim. Good morning to Jim and good morning to Simon. Make good sure morning. I put all your mic. Good morning. Good morning to both of you. Thank you. How you doing? Did good, you? Good, good, good. And, and, and Simon is not from here. Where is Simon from? Slovenia. 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 Slovenia, yes. Oh, Slovenia. Yeah, okay. What's the city? What's the city? Ljubljana. Ljubljana. I mean, Ljubljana is the capital. Ljubljana. Is that where you're from? Ljubljana? No, I'm 20 kilometers south of. Okay. All right. Kilometers. And Rob, and Rob, kilometer, 20 minutes, let's say. 20 minutes. That's yeah. okay. That's okay. And, and Robin already asked you the question we all wanted to know. Yes. Because yeah. the, only, the only person we know from Slovenia is Melania Trump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we wondered if you knew her. No. <laughs> <laughs> you told Robin, yes. His wife may to listen to this. Part, oh, his so. wife may listen to it. <laughs> oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. Well, this is a fun topic. And, and, and the IPTV idea is something Jim's been talking to us about for a long, long time. What is it exactly? For those who don't even know what it is, first of all, IP stands for what? Internet Protocol. Internet Protocol. Okay. And um, would it be the same in Slovenia? What do you? Yeah, this is international. It's international. Yeah. Okay. So what does that mean? Explain. It. I I do not have, and I don't know. I don't have an antenna. I don't have cable coming into my house for TV. Everything I look at is through my internet. Is this different than that? No, it's similar. So we use internet as a transport but at the end it's a set up box which is connected to tv so you don't need computer you don't need mobile phone and you just watch as uh, now the cable tv really and is it uh let's see is it expensive is it hard to control is it no that you can use it the same way as you do <coughs> with cable but what you get with it is you can record channels you can watch uh, you can make pause tv so M a lot of things which are not possible on the cable TV. Okay, you said a word I didn't know. You can make what kind of TV? Pause TV? Yeah, you can make pause. 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 You can pause. Oh, oh pause yeah. TV. Okay, okay. So you can stop it. You can go back. You can fast forward back to where you were. Oh, wow. You can record. Uh, one of the good parts about it, we were having difficulty trying to figure out a, a set-top box that we could record two channels or four channels. They're pretty bulky. They have hard drives in them. They're very expensive. Right, right. With the IPTV... Uh, Simon was saying if you wanted to record, if you subscribe to 20 channels and you want to record all 20, go right ahead. So do, does our cable provider have to be part of it? In, in other words, does, do I have to call Cox and say, would you please start carrying ESPN or would you please start carrying HBO? No, as long, long as you get your internet service, yeah, we take it from there. You do? Wow. Yeah. And how do you make money from that? I mean, this is a bit I charge you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I get the box. Yes. And I put it on Your my internet. shelf or something. Okay, yeah. yeah. But I mean. Oh, and the best part about it is you can do it wirelessly. You do not have to run a wire to it. Oh, really? Yes, you okay. just run a wire to your TV. But in some cases, if you have a small, a smart TV, Simon was saying that the box can receive wireless and send it to you wireless. Okay. Yeah. So I have the box. Now, do am I... Uh, am I limited in any way, or can I get every channel in the universe? Every channel I carry. Every channel you carry? Okay. Because right. you're actually, it's my box, my service. Oh, my, okay, yeah. okay. All so right. There are only legal channels on it. This is not just uh, all channels in the world. Only legal channels? Okay. Um, yep. So you need to have what's, rights. What's on the illegal ones? I want to see those. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just they just don't allow you to to, to have it. Yeah. Okay, so so uh, Jim, so I would. Uh, so do I have to live in the the area you now service, or or can I get it at my home? You can get it at your home if oh, you have nice. internet. But w the w w how long have we been waiting for this? This is something we've been, been waiting many for. years. A long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many years. Started it in two thousand and eight. Uh, that's when I was partners with uh, Top of the World, and I left those uh, partnership. And then I tried to do IPTV totally. And then in 2012, we did Ocala Palms with and became a partner there. Yeah, yeah. So um, all the time working on the IP. But the technology changed so fast, and what was good in one technology wasn't good in another. And Simon's kind of put it all together. So he has the encoding, the transcoding, 
all the little bits and pieces that make it stream economically. So are you going to hurt your own self as a cable provider? No. 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 Okay. It, it, it enhances. So let's assume for the sake of argument you had um, Cox Cable. Right. Um, and, and you pay for 150 channels, and you pay $150, let's say, for all your services. Right, But right. you only watch 11. Right. So you would just unsubscribe to their cable and take their Internet only, and my box would give you those 11. So in our case, where we have uh, 145 channels, like at Ocala Palms, there is no box to record. So my people would go ahead and get a box, and and they would not have to pay any extra for the channels they're already paying for them. But it will allow them now to record, wow. stop, pause, so how rewind. Did, how did the two of you discover each other? How did you how did you discover Simon, I guess? I was just searching the Internet, you know, trying to find out who does this and who does that. Really? Yeah. Oh, but this was two years ago. Yeah. We'll and what did you do, make a phone call to <laughs> Slovenia? No, no. Emails. Oh, emails to yeah, Slovenia. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and are you are you like an international company? Or yeah, yeah, we mainly work all over the world. So, really? Yeah. So in, is the United States behind? Because I've I've heard that I've heard that South Korea is ahead of us. I've heard that Australia is ahead of us. Are we like as far as speed, as far as services? Are we? Do no, we the, the the Australia I think it's not behind, but Europe is. Uh, I mean, Australia is behind, but uh, Europe is not. There's a lot of fiber optic. It's. Uh, but I mean, us are we behind Europe? Uh, yep. We are. Yeah. In what way? We're slower. Uh, with the internet connections. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's yeah, what I mean. yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Really? I mean, there is a lot of fiber uh, also in <coughs> rural areas, so it's uh, very developed. Uh, a lot of uh, the Western Europe fiber to the home is very popular. Wow. Well, were you at the trade show then that Jim was yes. at this yeah. week? Yep. Did the both also, of you there? Also, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so the box. Um, I guess let's talk money. How much does this add to my bill? Okay. So, um, since it's wireless, even though you have your own wireless connection in your home, right, where you can uh, search the internet through your computer, uh, this box will have its own wireless device, uh, and then it will send it to the box. So it's about. Uh, twelve dollars a month rental for the equipment in the home uh -huh. and then in your case where you're not a subscriber to our services you'd have to pay for the programming so let's assume you chose fox one american news cnn um fox business you know and then you wanted a couple of movie channels maybe you wanted hallmark movie lifetime movie that whole service <coughs> may cost you another eight dollars wow so you might have twenty dollars that's awesome and you have you know the seven or eight or ten channels you want so cox so we still have to have cox so you cox isn't to gonna get internet. so they're not gonna get too mad at me for taking this no no you'll just downgrade to the internet because you know what they send me they send me these ads that say what is it thirty dollars a month but then in the fine print it says for three months yes <laughs> yeah, and then after three months, it's like a hundred dollars a month. It's, yes. It goes up yes. a lot. It goes up a lot. Okay, so we got a fan club. Hello. Yeah, yeah. a little girl is out Aww, there. Look, look how cute she is. <laughs> yeah, she's so shy. Well, that, so, so I cute. so the other cable companies um, are they going to start jumping on this as well? Do you have an exclusive? Some cable companies are already offering a, a form of IP uh -huh. to their people that gets them out of that expensive set top box. But in, in reality, very few. I mean, like less than 1% probably do it in America. So uh, what did you do, Jim, to decide that this was for you? Did you try one at first? No. Uh, well, we did try. We had a gentleman in here years ago uh, that actually was a computer programmer. Uh, he shrunk down some channels for us so they could go through the Internet. Uh, we, we bought a bunch of equipment. We did everything. It worked. We could get like 10 channels on one server device. But... Um, as we started wanted to add more channels, it became quite uh, uh, impossible for him to do that. And Simon, I guess, has multiple programmers that write all this software. Uh -huh. So they figured out a way to take multiple channels and put them all together. Wow. So as I was looking at cable companies from all over the world, Israel, IPTV system, and um, I kept coming back to Simon, kept asking questions, and finally he said, the only way to do this is I have to come to America 
And believe me, for the last three days, our whiteboard has been busy. We, he's trying to bring me into the 21st century and show me the newest, <laughs> you know, what's going on. Really? Because I'm still old hat saying, well, why don't we do it this way? You can't do it that way. This, you know. Is this your first time in America? No, no, I was already. You're, yeah. uh, have you ever been in Ocala? No. Florida? No, this you, is the first time. Have you been in Florida before? No. No. In uh, Dallas only. Oh, in Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. Really? Dallas. Isn't it amazing? Wow. You'd think you'd be in New York and L.A. No, no. <laughs> you know, he wanted to take a T-shirt back for his daughter to have a horse on it. Okay. You know, so we go to the mall. You realize there's no place in the mall that sells a T-shirt with a horse on it? Walgreens does. So we go over to <laughs> – oh, good to know. So we went over to the uh, uh, Rustler's place over on 27. Right. Like, mm-hmm. All right. And they only had like three T-shirts. They even had a horse. But they had cows <laughs> on them. They had bulls on them. They had, you know, here oh. we are, horse capital of world. And when I asked oh, them, wow. they I said, yes, we, we always get asked for T-shirts with horses on them, but we don't sell them. Isn't yeah, Wal- Walgreens has what? the caps that say Ocala Horse Country with a horse. They have T-shirts. Okay, we'll go by Walgreens before he goes home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now we see Robin knows. Robin knows where they are. Uh, my TV can hook up to the internet yes so can i hook that box up directly to my tv or do i need to hook it up to the computer and then it goes wi-fi to the tv no no directly to tv the box is connected directly to tv oh okay Uh, you get remote so it's act the same way as cable so Mm -hmm. channel up down number if if you're listening and you want to call in with a question because we we might we might ask the question you're thinking we might not so give us a call if you have a question 622-9622 we need to take a little break Uh, Jim George is here with Simon Bergan visiting from Slovenia and he is with a company that's going to make it possible for us to have TV programming uh, without having cable TV. You'll still need your internet, though. Um, the company is called Nevron. Am I saying it right? Yep. I'm saying it right. Um, so we'll take a little break and we'll be right back. You're listening to WOCA Ocala, The Source. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, this is Becky at Hello, Gorgeous Salon. Let's get rid of those sun damage ends and faded out color and get into something rich and vibrant. It's time to get that new look started. So call today and set up your appointment at Hello, Gorgeous Salon. 3515358. Hello Gorgeous is a certified Brazilian blowout salon. We can tame those locks, leaving your hair healthy and shiny with a Brazilian smoothing treatment. And whether you're going on a job interview or out on a date, your hands do a lot of talking. Manicures are a must. Hello Gorgeous is a full service salon, so let us help you make a great first impression. Call us today to set your appointment at Hello Gorgeous. Our number is 352-351-5358. Again, that's 352-351-5358. Hello Gorgeous is conveniently located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. Hello Gorgeous. If you or a loved one is suffering with knee, shoulder, neck or back pain, plantar fasciitis, peripheral neuropathy, and even tennis elbow, and would like to learn about how there are treatments that may benefit you, go to drwanyordan.com, then listen in on the first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. and hear from health professionals doing these treatments and patients who have benefited from them. First and third Thursdays, 10 a.m. Next Generation MD, right here on The Source. Sunrise Automotive, this is Matt. Hey, Matt, it's Dan. Hey, Dan. Listen, we're going to be doing some traveling, and I need to make sure the car is in good shape. Why don't you just bring it on by? Let us check it out. We can check all your belts, your hoses, your tires, all your fluids. In out of town, is that up north? In the cold? Yep. Okay. Let's check your antifreeze. Also, let's make sure your washer fluid has got alcohol in it so it doesn't freeze up north, because that, that makes for a rotten day. And let's check your air pressure in your tires. Let's look at your brakes. Make sure everything is safe and secure there. Let's go through it. Just make sure everything is ready to go on the road. You do for an oil change? Yep. Whenever you come in to get your oil change, we always check your belts, your hoses, all your lights. We go through and make sure that everything is working properly. We check all your fluid levels. We do that every time you come in to Sunrise Automotive. So I'll just call you back at this number? Yeah, just give me a call back at 690-1993 whenever you're ready to come in. And you can drop it off, leave it with us, whatever is most convenient for you. Look forward to seeing you at Sunrise Automotive. 
All right, 20 minutes after 9 o'clock. I've been a friend of Jim George's for a long time, but I think I'm going to be a customer of Jim George's now. Yeah. This sounds like something I want. Right now here in Ocala, it is 12 degrees, by the way. Tonight, look for lows around 4 degrees. And in Slovenia, it'll, it's 1 degree right now in wow. Slovenia. So cold. I am talking about centigrade, Celsius, right? Yes. Yeah. So let me, let me translate let me do this. Uh, so in Slovenia right now, it's 34 degrees Fahrenheit. What, what do you normally do it with uh, Fahrenheit? Or no, Celsius. Celsius, that's yeah. what, it makes sense, right? Yeah. So it's only 1 degree right now. Yeah, only. Yeah, last week was minus 15. <laughs> <laughs> so even though it's cool here, it's a little bit warmer here than it would have been over there, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, so we do have a phone call, and uh, let's go to the call. By the way, if you have a question about this, I love what you're talking about. I mean, I've been waiting for something like this. This, I think this beats the, the little antenna that you gave Doug. That's what I think. Well, they coexist, because let's assume you were outside of my DMA, my direct marketing area, which means I cannot send you uh, ABC from Orlando. You have to get okay. maybe ABC from all right. Tampa. That would make so sense. So you'd get that little antenna, and you would get the, all the local Tampa areas, and then my mine would give you the, the satellite channels. Eventually, I will have the Tampa channels, and but but I got I got to you know crawl before I walk. Or gotcha. Ride. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Good morning. You're on the air. Thank you for calling. Hi. Uh, yeah, I have a question. Uh, do you need one of these boxes for every TV you're using in your house? Correct. Good yep. question. Oh, one for each TV. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you'd have to rent a box for each TV. Yes. Correct. But when you record, yeah. you have the um, single point, so you can reach the content from each set of box, no matter from which one you make recording. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, for Jim, there, uh, is this like now available? What part of Ocala is this available in now? No, it's not available yet. We're looking at a, a March... Um, launch date a April, yeah, you know, uh, right around there. Because uh, Simon's got to go back and place order for boxes. We have to finish some contract negotiations. There are no, two, other, yeah. two other things that have to be done. But believe me, you will hear it on the radio when we launch. Yeah, but uh, it should be throughout the, basically the Ocala area, or yes, yeah, you know, Ocala yeah. and Gainesville to start. So all of oh, Marion okay. County. Basically, yeah. Although I will be serving a small place in Leesburg that wants it right now. Hmm. But they'll be second in line compared to Ocala and Gainesville. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, that's, I guess that's all I can think all right. of to ask. But yeah. So each box is like it would be more or less a rental of about $12 a well, month the, for the each first, box? The first box would be 12 The second box would be oh. 6 Oh, so... You'll give them oh, a deal. Oh, okay. Then. Yeah, because the first box has a control-type substance with it that will talk to the other boxes. Oh, okay, okay. So that's so if you only oh, have one, it's 12. Okay. If you have two, it'd be uh, 18. 18. Okay. Well, yeah, so you could have like three or four boxes, or, you know. Yeah, you could. Whatever you need. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That Thank is you. good. Uh, that's good. But, but you don't need a computer, right? If, I mean, most people do have computers, but no, no. The, the, you don't need one. This is just, just separate from that. Yep. You yep. still need internet, but not the computer. Yes. Oh, exactly. wow. But you could watch it on your computer if you so uh, chose. <clears throat> can you watch, com can you do computer things? Like, can you go to YouTube and things like that? Not through my box. Not through that box. No. Okay. okay. It, it has the capability. We're kind of limiting that. And the reason is something might be downloaded that could corrupt the box software and now you're ending up sending me the box back and I'm sending you a new box and then I'm trying to wipe it clean to get the stuff off so we just said no this box is a TV box that's what it does so going back to the money again so it's twelve dollars for the first one six dollars for the second one do you pay twice for the the services no. or just once for the services just once. okay oh wow that's pretty good yeah I don't really want many channels I right. want you know I don't know what I want. No, well, you won't. When you see the <laughs> list, let's assume the list is 145 channels. Everybody thinks they want all 145 until they realize that they're not really watching the recipe channel or the justice channel. You know, they're, you know, they're but they might want uh, a lot of the off the air channels that we have: NBC, ABC, CBS, and that's going to be one of our mainstays. That you can get about 50 channels. Uh, off, you know that right. that are all your your off the air channels. So once you could get free with um, the antenna we spoke about, on top of the twelve dollar box will cost you about three dollars. But now you don't need an antenna outside. 
and you get all those channels. Do you know, when, when cable first started, like, I think HBO, no, the Z Channel was before HBO. Do you remember the Z mm. Channel? Anybody remember the Z Channel? Yeah. It was, it was like no commercials. That was the whole pitch. You get to watch TV and no commercials. Now you pay for it, plus there's commercials. Yes. Exactly. And not that you have anything to control with that, but isn't it just an interesting thing? Are there, are there a lot of commercials in Slovenia? Yeah, also. Same. <laughs> same yeah. Thing, yeah. Yeah, so basically the, our box would be like any other cable box. Uh, you come up, you're playing, and you come up to a commercial, just fast forward through it. How far can you fast forward? I mean, how, how far ahead in time? You can, it, you can wipe out the whole channel, you know, as far as seeing it all real fast, probably in one minute. Yeah. In one minute. So if, I was, so if I was on the channel where the Florida lottery is going to be announced, yep. <laughs> and I fast-forwarded to the results, and then I went out to the convenience <laughs> store and bought the ticket, yeah. exactly, I could win, <laughs> right? Of course. Okay. I'm gonna, all right. See, That's now this the point. <laughs> He's thinking about it. There you go. Oh, wow. He's got a plan. <laughs> you knew where I was going right away. <laughs> Simon knew where I was going. All right. Let, let me uh, take another phone call. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning, this is Bob calling. Uh, I have a quick question. We have a lot of static on our AM radio, and uh, if we turn some of the outside lights off, it the, must be in the wiring in the wall. Yes. If we move the radio away from the wall, then it goes away some. I have a question. Is there any kind of a noise suppressor that I could put on there, a condenser or anything at all? You could try that? several small things. Number one, they do make a little magnet uh, that snaps together. <clears throat> and it snaps over your AC line right where it enters your radio. In other words, you just okay. take these two boxes and you snap them because the noise could be coming in the AC line itself. The second I thing see. you could okay. do was be put an outside antenna up, and by outside it could be in the attic, um, but it's basically a single wire. That's how the basically AM works. And just have it insulated so it doesn't touch any of it. And get it up into an area where you can get a more clear picture. A lot of that static is your signal-to-noise ratio. Your signal's kind of weak compared to the other noise. Okay. And um, other other than that, it's it's a question of just turning your radio left, right, because there is a sure. built-in mm -hmm. antenna inside that box and uh, that, that and if it's an older radio that has the back that comes off you can see the antenna but if okay. it's a newer one where it's all built in uh, you can't see the it's hard to get it unconnected where do i get the box where do i buy that box that snaps together oh the, the, the magnet you can go to any store uh, radio shack on silver springs would carry them best buy would carry them it's real small it's maybe two inches a long, maybe an inch in diameter, two part, huh. and you put it over the AC and you snap it together. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're I appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. I never even knew about that one. Bye. Oh, well. yeah. So we work in radio. We don't really know how yeah. it works. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really know how this whole thing yeah. works. Yeah, I'll bring you in one next week so you can get it. You can look at it. So, what is life like in Slovenia? Can we talk about that just sure. a moment? What is what is your life like? Like no different than ours. Yeah, no, it'd be different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you drive on the right side of the road? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you were telling me he's like twenty minutes from the ocean and twenty minutes from skiing in the mountains. But you have, to, but oh, summer well, nice. is the is the ocean and winter is the mountain. And the ocean. We are yeah. small, you know. That, uh, probably you know Slovenia now. Is we are so famous. <laughs> That's right, exactly. <laughs> because <of what? laughs> we are we are the two million population. So do you know that you know that yeah. Trump's son. The one he sh that he has with Melania yeah. speaks Slovenian. Slovenian is that the language? Slovenian? Yes, Slovenian. Yeah. That he can speak Slovenian. No, I didn't know. He did not call me yet. He didn't call no, you. Uh, no, yeah. sorry. <laughs> say, say hello to the, say hello to the uh, Sl Slovenians and Slovenia. Oh yeah, yeah. So say something. Say good morning and happy new year. Yeah, uh, I don't think they are listening. But no, no. But it's going to be recording. So <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Dobro jutro, Slovenia. Yeah. There you go. Nice. That's that's hello. I'm going to listen to that and study that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to listen to how to how to uh, talk to, talk in Slovenian. So I asked him about breakfast because we've been going to McDonald's for breakfast, having something small, you know, because we go out for lunch. And and I asked him what is a Slovenian like breakfast like. Yeah. And uh, so he was saying sausages, right? Yeah. Well, bread, butter, so something. Bread, butter, jam, sausages. That sounds like a good breakfast to me. That does yeah. sound good. That does sound good. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I always love looking at I like Google Earth because then I can kind of go down and see what, what it looks like. 
My mother was born in Germany, but the town that she was born in didn't allow Google to do the Street View thing. Really? Yeah, I'm so disappointed. I, mean, I can go to other cities and look. Can I go to Street View on, on Slovenia? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah. You will see his house. He'll yeah, be outside. Exactly. Yeah, I'm outside. And oh, nice. Are you I really? That. No. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I, my, my cat was outside my house when the Google car went by. Yeah, in the uh, driveway. Yeah, and the cat died and they got rid of it. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not there anymore. Oh, boy. Well, what? Oh, my gosh. We're, we're out of time. We went over. Um, well, thank you for coming in, Simon. That was a, a real treat. Yeah, no I, problem. And you're bringing thank something. Thank you for invitation. And you're bringing something to Ocala that I think. You know, the cable companies are going to be a little nervous oh about, boy. but the rest oh of us boy. are going to be happy yeah, about. We've been right? waiting yes. for this for a long time, so and, thank you so much. And this is January, so March is only two months away. I know. I know. We have yeah. to rush. We have a lot to do. All right. Uh, Simon Bergon, thank you for coming in. Uh, Neil, thank you for coming in. I know you were quiet over there. Yeah, and, and, of course, Jim George, thank you for coming in. You're welcome. What is, uh, how do we get a hold of you, Jim? 854-9795. All right. We will take thank a little you. break, and we'll be right back. of looking at home security systems. Oh, cool. I'll go with you. We're, we're looking for more home security ideas, too. That's why I called Budget Blinds. Budget Blinds? Look at this. A remote for the blinds. Yep. Motorized. Okay. Well, that's beyond cool. I love it. But what does it have to do with home?